The yearbook would like you to know that the final deadline to order your yearbook is February 23rd. This past weekend, Salem Sensations competed for the last time at Monona Grove Silver Stage Invite. They performed their best all season, landing them a spot in the final six teams where they took home fifth runner-up. Hannah Reichel also tied for second place in the solo competition this weekend with one first, second, and third place placement in total for the season. If you want one last chance to see their show this year, Sing Stations will be performing at the Show Choir Extravaganza this Thursday and Friday, February 22nd and 23rd at 7 p.m. in the Hyder Center. Tickets are $5 and can be purchased at the door. Auditions for the 2024-2025 Show Choir will be Monday, March 11th, 3.30 to 5 p.m. and 6 to 7 p.m., as well as Tuesday, March 12th, from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. in the choir room. If you are interested in trying out for the summer musical, Mamma Mia!, auditions will be held Monday, March 4th, and Tuesday, March 5th, 3.30 to 5 p.m., or Wednesday, March 6th, at 7 a.m. Are you looking for something to do next week? The play Monsters in My Closet will be playing Thursday, February 29th, and Friday, March 1st at 7 p.m. Tickets will be $5 at the door. The team had their sectionals meet in Hudson last week. The team scored 88 points and finished 8th overall. Every single swimmer had a new personal best, and the team sent a swimmer to state for the first time since 2013. The following artists from West Salem High School will display their work at the State Youth Art Month Exhibitation on March 22nd, where they will be eligible for statewide awards. The three candidates are Carolyn Perry, a sophomore, Leah Byer, a senior, and Maddie Dovenberg, a senior. Good luck at State Artists. Boys hockey lost in their first round of playoffs. Despite this, they both played very hard and good games. The girls lost 4-2 playing Somerset and the boys lost 5-3 against Menominee. Hi, I'm Mr. Holter. I'm going to be recapping the end of the season for the ski and snowboard team. Uh, ski and snowboard team just had state last weekend and we actually had two of the boys skiers that qualified for the team. Um, usually this is only six skiers off of a team of 25 that get to do this. So congratulations to John Gerke and to Charlie Roman. Uh, they're the two boys skiers that were on the state team this year. Um, I don't know the last time West Salem has had skiers that have made the state team. So this is a huge accomplishment for them. Um, and the team of Aquinas on Alaska West Salem finished second at the state meet. So they had an incredible season this year. Also at state was London Vanderhorst uh, for snowboarding. So London actually improved this year from where she finished at state last year and finished in the top 10. Um, just an all around fantastic ski season for all of our skiers and snowboarders. Great job. Week, the girls gymnastics team won conference. Morgan Syker got first team all conference and she won gymnastics player of the year. She won every event. Kennedy Garbers and Haley Ives got honorable mention. This week is sectionals on Saturday. There are seven teams, and the top two teams go to state. You can go to state as a team, or the girls can go individually. Good luck to the gymnastics team. Um, Santiago, I'm going to be giving you some updates about student services. I'm here with Miss Elson, and here's what you need to know. <laughs> Hi, I your course receipts were handed out a couple weeks ago or this week, depending on when you got them. They are all due right now, so if you could get those turned in ASAP, we'd appreciate it. We're trying to make the master schedule for next year, so if you could get those in, that'd be great. And also for seniors, May 4th by 3.30, scholarships, the local scholarships are due, so get those in too. Thanks. The boys basketball team has qualified for state as the number one seed. They have a bye in the first round and normally they'll be playing in Division 3, but this season they'll be playing in Division 2 because of a new WIAA rule. We got moved up for basketball because of our tremendous success in the past two seasons. This is their bracket. They will be playing the winner of Lacrosse Logan and Shawano. They will begin playing the winner Friday, March 1st at home.
Well has gotten the one seed for the upcoming tournament, and they are undefeated in the Cooley Conference. They have a regional game this week at 7 at West Salem against the Logan Rangers. Over the weekend, the Catbirds hosted the D1 sectionals. Out of our nine competitors,